my name is Alan Barrington. I'm a designer for Mercedes-Benz at the Advanced Studio in Carlsbad, California. We actually participate and work on everything that Germany does. But because we're an advanced design studio, we are asked to work on concept cars, show cars, and future vision. Uh, the LA Challenge is a competition between all of the uh, California studios, car design studios. And this year, the theme was to do a movie car. So this year, the main character is actually this Silver Arrow car that uh, is inspired by these kind of 30s Formula One racers that are open wheel but it's kind of taking it into the, the future with new omni-wheel, directional wheel technology. When you go into the test facility, there's this thing called a pendulum. It looks like a, a, a battling ram. That's how they test the side impact, the front impact. So we decided that the pendulum uh, would be the, the bad guy. So the car is being protected by Hans and Franz, who are these crash test dummies. They, they hate to see the car damaged or uh, destroyed, so they go on this uh, wild chase to protect the car. I think the, the great thing about this project is it allows us to try new processes and think about things in a new way, um, using new tools and kind of pushing the limits of how we come up with designs. So for the 3D work on this project, we used Maya, we used 3DS Max, and we used Bunk Speed for the ray tracing, which takes advantage of the eye ray rendering. Ray tracing allows a designer to uh, show off the vehicle in the context that it's meant to be seen in, in the most realistic way. Uh, it brings in all the reflections, all the ambient occlusion, all of the bounce light and things that you don't get in a normal kind of just rendering software. So I was trying to figure out the lighting for this one part in the test facility. Um, where it's a very enclosed place, but you have these uh, kind of bays and windows and things. And when we first started lighting this, this part of the project, the light wasn't very uh, natural. It didn't have this kind of sunlight feel in this enclosed space. But as soon as we started using the eye ray uh, and the sun and sky, you get this very natural sunlight beam coming in and you could see it in real time where it was going to be. So we were able to position the car uh, on the turntable in the animation, kind of right in this sunspot, and it really highlighted the car and, and it made a pretty exciting shot. And one of the things with ray tracing is it usually takes a lot of time to do all that computation. So you get to a point where you, you either have to start compromising the design a little bit and, uh, and leaving out you know, some of the detail um, just to get the, the project done. The Maximus and the new rendering technology allows you to keep all of the detail that you wanted to initially. So for this project, having the Maximus machine is almost like having a rendering farm. It's like having almost 10 regular CPU computers doing ray tracing at the same time. Being able to render uh, in the background while you're still doing the 2D and the 3D work, it really uh, improves your, your productivity and kind of keeps some momentum and flow to your, uh, your work, which is important in this kind of a project. So last year we also did an animation which uh, we thought was uh, the best thing we could do with the resources that we had, and we were pretty happy with it. But this year with the NVIDIA Maximus uh, technology, we were able to do far beyond what was possible last year, and NVIDIA Maximus enabled that. The, the greatest thing about it was we didn't lose any time with the rendering time because we were rendering things so quick and fast, and I think you can, you can really see it in our new animation, uh, how much more we achieved with this new technology. Well, the, the final shot where the dummy inside of the, um, the Ren wagon was a pretty important shot, and we were you know, coming down to the, the final minutes, really, of the project, and uh, we, we didn't have that shot yet, so we were like, let's, let's take a few just minutes and set it up right and get exactly what we need. And we've got you know, 30 minutes to get a really good quality rendering. So we set up the shot, and uh, within 30 minutes we had a beautiful rendering, and it, I think it's a, a, you know, a good um, icing on the cake for the whole, whole project. And this is like the holy grail, really, of, of uh, you know this process to where you can actually um, do two or three different processes at the same time and, and uh, help it to influence um, you know new ideas and creative solutions. <laughs>